elegant models and you're trying to smooth it but when you're smoothing your models with some modifiers I'm going to show it to you later on during this tutorial it's going to uh, get to the funky shape so to to get rid of that to keep kind of your shape but kind of smooth the edges of the model you want to tessellate first and then use the smooth modifier to smooth it so we just use the tessellate modifier and there is two two ways you can uh, tessellate your uh, 3D model by clicking on this modifier over here or just click on modifier list and select the tessellate from the list it will do just the same thing uh, what the difference between those two uh, well when you're gonna click over here and tessellate you can see it just again tessellate the the whole thing and kinda modify it make a diff different shape you can basically reshape your model over here a little bit with your polygons uh, using the computer uh, in artificial intelligence also you can right click on this tessellate and click delete you can delete any time but when you use the tessellate option over here modifier you cannot bring uh, the uh, polygons back uh, unless you're going to do undo but when you just create 100 more uh, edits to it you're not going to undo it so one way when you're using the modifier list you can undo the tessellation and another way when you're using this guy right here you cannot uh, the modifier list tessellation give you the ability of um, more more option this uh, tessellation modifier uh, give you less abilities just only the level how much you want to tessellate and that's it over there you can also reshape your model a little bit but for this case we want to use this one for another case we're going to use different one and you will learn why so I will explain click on uh, settings again and try to bring a little bit more polygons like so click OK OK so we just OK it here so the next thing what we want to do uh, we're going to um, now go to create uh, go to boolean and we're going to say pick operand B and now we're going to just, uh, select on any other cylinders to make a hole like so perfect and uh, the next thing what we want to do and you already know by now if it's not whole if it just add this object to this object what you want to do you want to go ahead and click on subtraction A minus B it will subtract the B which is cylinder the next thing what you want to do you want to click on modify and click right click on the boolean and select editable poly so now it's editable poly as one object next thing what we want to do we want to go back again to create back to um, geometry back to compound object if it's not compound object you want to go ahead and click on the modifier list over here and select the compound object and again you want to select the boolean and pick up and B and we're going to do the same thing with uh, another cylinder okay we just did so the next thing what you want to do you want to go ahead and click on the modify on the boolean right click and with your mouse button and edible poly excellent and go back to create again go back to geometry as on the modifier list go back to compound objects and boolean again and do the same thing pick the upper and B uh, with the uh, two more cylinders going back to uh, modify right click on boolean with your mouse button editable poly select that go back to create go back to geometry compound objects in your modifier list and go back to boolean again pick up and B and select the fourth uh, cylinder okay hole again excellent go back to modify uh, go uh, click on boolean your mouse button uh, right mouse click and edible poly all right now we have the basic stand uh, uh, fan uh, base uh, box with our holes uh, for the screws and a hole for the fan now let's go ahead and use the orbit uh, sub object uh, click on this icon and you can basically just uh, kind of rotate the camera it's not rotating the object as again it's rotating the camera 
to rotate the object in 3D space that you don't want to do right now you want to use this icon right here which says select and rotate alright let's go ahead and render and see what we have so kinda position the um, object or 3D model where you want it our box base and go, go ahead and click on the rendering and render okay we have perfect base alright so the next thing what you want to do we are going to lower our cylinder so let's go ahead and click on front uh, viewport right mouse button and uh, then we're going to use the zoom tool a little bit zoom out okay then we're going to use the select object tool click on it and uh, select the cylinder uh, it's named base cylinder as you name it then we're going to go ahead and click select and move uh, icon tool and we're going to move it by Y kinda like so up to here alright the next thing what we wanna do maybe we wanna scale it just a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, select a uniform scale tool like over here and then scale it by Y as well just a little bit then uh, I'm going to use maybe just a little bit like so try to get to the proportion let's go ahead and click and see our reference image okay so let's make it bigger just a little bit bigger bigger than base uh, uh, box and the next thing what we want to do we want to position it a little bit lower using the select the move tool click on it right here and by Y we're gonna just lower it like so okay and I'm using my third mouse button to zoom and zoom out and you can use the zoom tool right here okay the next thing what we want to do we want to make sure our base box is selected this guy right here alright and now you want to clone it so what we're gonna do uh, we want to go edit clone as you already know and clone as object copy and it's saying box box base uh, and we're gonna say two so one two so we're gonna now click OK and then we wanna click on our front view right mouse button once and uh, using the select and move tool what we wanna do we are just going to go ahead and uh, move it to the top by Y axis like so alright and uh, the next thing what we wanna do we wanna click on our cylinder base and we wanna make it just a little bit bigger than it is currently right now and uh, so we're gonna click on our select uniform tool click on it and in our top uh, viewport using zoom out, zoom in zoom out I'm using the third button you can use this tool right here zoom tool a little bit zoom out and um, you wanna using the select and uniform scale tool a little bit make it bigger scale it a little bit bigger than it is right now like so you can check your um, perspective view or your left view see where it's exactly not too much though like so if you're going to uh, click on left uh, viewport and using uh, the pen view kind of pen it and then using the zoom tool get to it you're gonna see that you're about like so not getting out of the base box okay the next thing what we want to do uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, create a copy so make sure that your cylinder is uh, selected. We're going to clone it as again. Edit. Uh, clone. C object copy. We're going to click OK. And we're going to make a hole in this cylinder. So what we want to do, we want to scale it now. So we, have, we are right now on our second object. We're going to click on Scale and Uniform tool. And go to our uh, top viewport right click of your mouse button and the top viewport 
and then using the small yellow triangle put your mouse over it and then click a left mouse button scale it just a little bit like so just scale it down just a little bit the next thing what we want to do um, we want to click back to our larger cylinder so go ahead and click on the select object icon and then select our lar larger cylinder then go to create then go to geometry click on that icon and then if it doesn't say compound object you want to click on it whatever it says and select the compound object then you want to go ahead and click select the boolean and we're going to create the um, hole but before you're going to uh, click the boolean make sure that your smaller cylinder is uh, getting uh, outside of the larger cylinder otherwise the hole will not uh, be visible it's just going to be inside so let's go ahead and before we're going to create boolean um, let's go ahead and uh, click uh, select object if you click on the boolean a button that's fine just go ahead and click undo make sure it's unselected go ahead and click on select object here and um, over here select by name tool click on it it's going to bring you some option where you can select what object you would like to select let's say you have multiple objects and one object is inside of another object and it's kind of hard to select that object you want to click select uh, objects tool and then as I did right here select by name I'm sorry click on it and it's going to bring you